Hi, my name is Barry Schwartz, and this is a ShulCloud video demo on the cloud-based accounts receivable system within the ShulCloud network. Now, every system, every site, every Shul gets a web-based access to their accounts receivable system here. This is under the accounts tab over here. I'm showing you a dummy data, so none of this information is really legit, but I'll take you through how this works. All, all invoices and all payments are charged to the account. Within accounts, there's members um, that can pay the bills. In addition, some accounts could be family unit accounts, and some accounts could be business or nonprofit organizations. I'm going to go to a family unit account, uh, Shia Berman, um, and you can see here, this is the account information on the top left. This is all web-based, all accessible on your iPad or uh, any, any browser. And here are the actions you can take on this account. You can edit the account, edit the default member, add a member to the account, add charges, invoices to the account, add payments received, create statements, or even log in as that member. In these tabs here are all the data for the account. Now again, it looks different on every single site that you might go to. This is this template. We have dozens of templates that might look like, but it conforms to those templates. So in this, in this view, you have transactions, members, yard sites, notes, and seats. Um, so if you want to quickly see how much money this member owes, you click on the transactions tab, and then you go ahead and you check off only show open items. When you hit filter, it would actually go ahead and list only the open items in this account. So you can scroll through and see what are open with a total at the bottom showing the totals. The current balance on this account is $7,391. The total invoice is twenty-one grand. The total credited payments were fourteen grand, leaving a balance of $7,000 plus. So that's how you go ahead and um, manage to see how much this member owes. Um, you can see there's payments here. The payments were unapplied. If I want to go ahead and apply this payment, you hit edit. You take the amount of $72. You can either hit auto apply to an open balance or you can type it in for a specific invoice. Here are all the invoices that are here. Um, so for example, if I want to put the $72 towards the sisterhood, I just type in $72. Or I could split it amongst other things. I could put $50 here, $12 there, etc. You can send an email that the payment was received. You can attach this PDF statement and a PDF receipt to that, and you hit submit, it will automatically update that information right over here. I'll go ahead and do that, and it automatically updated that to show that $72 payment, which was posted to a different account. So I click on the $72 check, it was posted to that invoice over there. So that's how you can actually create, uh, add charges and invoices. You can add invoices by clicking Add Invoice. You can add payments. You can create statements and email those statements. They're Dozens of types of statements you can send out. Um, you can print them, you can email them, it's not a big deal. All that's available. Part of that is batch billing available. You can actually do batch bills for members. It keeps track of all the batch bills you've done. You can always download or clone them in the future. Um, there's ways to manage all the transactions in the school by going to transactions and looking at all the transactions by a certain date range. So if I increase the date range, there will be more transactions. And that's all there. You can view them all, you can modify them. I could, filter them by debits within certain line items or payments within certain types of line items. Uh, there's lots of reporting. You can export them to CSV and Excel. Um, you can export them to various financial packages, including QuickBooks, Mayo, Peachtree, and CSV and pivot tables. You can do deposits in here as well. There's dozens and dozens of, of, of transactional reporting in here as well, account balances, um, receivables, reconciliations, bar charts, pie charts, and all that, all that fun stuff that's all available in here. Let me just show you one quickly. And again, any of these things are printable, downloadable as a PDF or export as CSV. They're interactive charges. You can mouse over them and see the details. Um, so as you can see, there's lots and lots of things in here. You can manage members' accounts. So I don't know if I showed you that, but let me go back to that. Um, so if I go to a specific member and I want to manage their account, I can go ahead and manage their account by clicking on the members, clicking on view the member and record, and it will show me the member record. I can edit that record and manage that record's details over here from bar mitzvah dates, even Hebrew keyboard for the Hebrew name, bar mitzvah dates, English names, email addresses, birth dates, Hebrew and English, yard site information, business information, etc. Um, there's also a yard sites tab to keep track of yard sites. There's a seats tab to manage high holiday seats. As you can see, this is a completely web-based online portal uh, for you to manage the accounts receivables as well as the members, member data and all that stuff. Thanks so much for watching this Shulcloud video demo. There's more video demos at shulcloud.com.